Welcome to Tech Links with Steam Power. From this to these. This is the true story where the sands of time, or at least sand, becomes glass. With coal-fueled fires that help replace brass objects with iron ones. Where heated water becomes steam that powers a revolution. There are links from the past to our present with tech objects. From windows to steam-powered wheels. Let's start with the see-through substance. 1. Pipe windows. Glass is made by melting these together with lots of heat. The Roman blows glass on a pipe to make lots of cups, bottles, and bowls. Later, people learned to blow a big glass bubble and spin it. The flat, round glass is cut into small shapes for windows. Next, hot, huge cylinders of blown glass make larger windows. Today, glass is made by floating on hot tin. But that is a different story. Hundreds of years ago, glass workers drink beer to keep cool. Also, it helps the workers not to get sick from the smoky fires that melt glass. How is the beer made? 2. Brewer Pots Beer makers mix these together in giant copper vats. Next, the mash is boiled. Later, finished beer is put into glass bottles. At first, the beer and glass bottle makers use wood as fuel. In Europe, so many people burn wood. The forests are about to run out of trees. Many businesses like beer and bottle makers start using coal as fuel. Where does coal come from? 3. Peat Coal Hundreds of millions of years ago, before the dinosaurs, massive plants grow over the hot earth. When the huge plants die, they pile up on top of each other in layers called peat. For peat's sake, over time, the layers of plant peat get covered up with sand. With heat, pressure, and time, the peat turns into coal. Much, much later, people find that they can burn the coal for fuel. As coal miners dig deeper and deeper into the earth, there is a big problem. The mines flood with water. 4. Steam Pumps This guy comes up with an idea to fix the flooded mines. He burns coal in a beer brewer's boiler to get steam. He uses steam to push up one side. The other side is linked to a piston that drives a pump to push water out of mines. The steam pump works with a seesaw motion. The pump works okay, but burns lots of coal. The steam pump sells pretty well. Many mine owners buy them, but there's a problem. Pump cylinders are made out of expensive brass. A cheaper and stronger material is needed. Iron Products This guy turns coal into coke and makes iron products. He makes lots of pots and other things out of iron. He also makes steam pump cylinders out of iron. For about 50 years, steam pumps drive water out of deep mines. This university has a model of the steam pump to teach students. One day, the pump model breaks. The broken model is given to the university's repairman. 6. Steam Power While he fixes the model, he notices something. The steam pump uses one cylinder for both the hot and cold cycles. This wastes a lot of energy. Aha! One brilliant idea is to add another cylinder to separate the hot and cold. Watt's new steam engine costs less to run but is more powerful than the steam pump. The new steam engines sell well. Bolton and Watt improve their engines. They make the back and forth piston turn a round wheel. The turning motion is very useful for businesses like textile and potteries. 
Steam engines power so many factories, they cause an industrial revolution. But powerful steam engines can do more. 7. Wheels Propel This guy gets the idea to make the steam engine push iron train wheels. His first trial fails as the L-shaped iron rails break and the boiler leaks. He does get his train working. Paying passengers can get a short ride on a circle track at a steam circus. Later, there's a competition to be the world's first commercial train. The race is in England on train tracks between these two cities. This guy and his train named Rocket win the race. Next, trains are very successful. Soon, trains and tracks spread throughout England and Europe. Later, steam engine trains spread across continents and across the world. Steam also powers ships and some of the first cars. Steam power is still important to our world too. Nowadays, other types of engines power our modern people movers. Cars, trains, and planes. Steam still makes our coffee and cooks much of our food. But, steam is still powerful today too. Steam generators make lots of world's electricity. Here are examples. To close, glass windows are once made by people with blowpipes. Hot glass workers drink beer to keep cool. Brewers make beer in steaming hot boilers. Steam pumps use boilers to push water out of flooded mines. Next, Bolton and Watt make steam engines which power factories. In the past, steam boilers on wheels push trains around the globe. Today, steam still makes much of the energy for our modern world. When we see through glass, we connect through time with power from windows to wheels. See the catalog for more Alfred books. Printed copies are also available on Amazon. Over 4 million free Alfred ebooks and videos have been downloaded. Subscribe now!